Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and let's start calling these all 12 sign readings basically the next seven days, the next month. That way they're kept timeless because they really are timeless. So any of these that are up, feel free to go back and see if things panned out for you in the way that you thought they would. This is valid whenever you come across it. So let's just begin with Aries. Hi there, Aries. Let's see what is going on for you over the next seven days. And I think for this round, I'm just going to pull three cards because I think that'll be enough of a story here. Hmm. All right. You ready? So you're going through a lot of change here in the next seven days. And what this is talking about, I'll hold up the cards here in a moment, but um, you, I mean, you just have a hard stop for a lot of you. It's like, this is not working. I am not doing this anymore. Now, some of you might be going, well, that's right. I have to break up with someone or whatever. It's not that. It's, it's deeper than that. We have to get out of this momentum of I'm going to be in the swirl of my surface level life. And that's what defines me. That's what defines my happiness. And that's what defines my worth. You're learning to let go of that. Okay. So the first card is your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So immediately it feels like the sense of I've put so much work into all of this. I can't walk away. I should just stay here. But the commitment that's being tested is not to your situation, it's to yourself. Are you committed to you? Are you ready to grow in a big way? Because that's really what's going on here. Now I did put up the Archangel Raziel meditation challenge. If you want to check that out, this is all about that transformation. Gumroad.com slash angel souls. If you're interested in that. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So there's something here that you know, you know it's time to commit to you. So this could be that sociopathic, psychopathic boss and you're like, I'm done, I'm out. Um, you're starting to get your plan going, your exit strategy. Maybe you realize, maybe you're in one of the hard hit areas, you know, with weather and you're like, I can't do this. You know, I've had to repair my home numerous times. Now, people obviously on the coast, they get hit a lot harder. But I remember a couple of years ago here in Colorado Springs, we were getting one major hail storm after another. And if people who, especially are east of here, I mean, they were like literally in tears because they're like, I can't keep fixing my house. I fix my house and then the roof blows off again, or I fix my windows and they get broken again. You know, I mean, it's, it's a lot. So some of you are Whatever the situation is, when you say the energy is gaining momentum, the want for a change is starting to build. The want to get on to that next thing is starting to build, but it's not about the surface level. Please hear me when I say it is not about the surface level. It's about, if you want to see it as destiny, it's kind of like going towards that. It is a deep understanding of everything that has occurred, why it has occurred. Not intellectually, but from the heart space. From the heart space understanding, like, okay, I had to go through that in order to get here. I've had situations that took up a big part of my life from very, not very nice people. And when I looked back on that, I was like, yeah, but if I didn't go through that, I would have never gotten on a spiritual path as deeply as I have. I mean, it was always spiritual, but I really started to trust it because it was my saving grace. It helped me understand to get out of a bad situation. I bet you can relate to that. And if I hadn't gone through all the tough stuff, I would have never believed in myself enough to go off and start my own business. Stuff like that, okay? So no time has been wasted here. I just want to make that clear. So then we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Again, you're going towards your, your true north, like you're your north node, what you're really supposed to be doing. So next seven days, is your life gonna change in the next seven days? I guess anything is possible, but really what this is, again, it's the energy is gaining momentum. You're starting to get clarity now. You're starting to, everything's starting to click. 
we're seeing this with people who are either wanting to strike out on their own. We're, we're seeing a lot of that, but this doesn't have to be that. I mean, if you have been on your own for a while, you've done the freelance gig, give it a year. People are going to realize that being an entrepreneur and being a freelancer or whatever, however you want to see that is not all just fun and games. Okay. <laughs> it's not fun and games, but maybe you've been freelancing for a while and you decide, you know what? I want to do this line of work. I want to work with a group of people or what have you. Okay. The idea here is to not overthink it because that will lead you astray. You will end up going for a job. It feels very career heavy. It could be relationships too, but you might end up going into a direction that is not exactly <laughs> what the universe was trying to serve up to you. Okay. <laughs> like they're trying to get you to see a different way, but most certainly you're getting some bit of clarity and uh, this could lead to a plan. So get ready for that and have a good next seven days. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what is going on for you over the next seven days. You're getting steady. Like you're like you're always good at being steady. I think we well, I laugh them like, no, no, I'm not. But you always find your way back to it, even if you get knocked off course a little bit. But this is actually having something come to fruition, I think. Yeah, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. I'm feeling like when you let go of a certain toxic energy, everybody wins. And your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So let's start with this take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. So again, there is this feeling here that you have, you have something in motion. You have something that is a goal that you've been working towards. And over this, you know, coming week, whenever you're watching this, let's call it the next seven days, this is a time where you're like, okay, I'm not going to push anymore. I know I'm solid. I know I'm all right. I do not need to push on this. Now, what this does, it creates balance and harmony and something magical happens here. And again, this is a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. It's nothing but beauty, honey. It's all the beauty that comes forward, but really... You may not see any outward um, results necessarily, but you know what to do. You know what to do. And it's all about the energy by not pushing, by clearing. Some of you, this is clearing up like karmic soul contracts and letting some of that energy go. And now you're both free. And, you know, <laughs> now your creativity is flowing. And now you have more abundance and prosperity. I feel like that is definitely something that can come on in. But again, maybe you come to, you have some brilliant idea that kind of evens out a solution, right? Um, a compromise, it actually does benefit both. It's like that. Or I am hearing partnership. So there could be uh, some very beneficial partnership. Be careful. We are not using people. We are not manipulating. We are not doing that. Uh, there will be a price to pay should that occur. Um, it's, it's unlocking the potential. That's what it feels like. So letting whatever kind of, uh, so if you've been stressing over something, let's say, you don't want to walk away and pretend like it's not happening. That's not that. But you just want to let go of any attachment to the outcome or how you think it should go, releasing any kind of controlling energy because you're fearful and so you're latching onto it. However that works for you. Or... With this, the balancing of the scales, in order for things to get resolved, we can't get into a blaming energy. I know, it's easy to do that, isn't it? Then we have your hard work is paying off. Newman and Capricorn. Again, when we release all of that stuck energy, and that's what it is, it's getting stuck. And you finally just kind of breathe out and you say, okay, I'm going to let this go. Let it play out. When I feel like I need to take action, I will. But... Um, I feel like, yeah, your approach historically has not worked. <laughs> okay, so maybe <laughs> maybe this was, um, maybe you were ruminating about something and you're really stuck on it and just going over and over and over. Well, other people can feel that energy. They may not be able to identify it, but they know there's something off there, right? And uh, now you're letting it go. You unlock everything and now there's a flow and these opportunities can come in. Prosperity can come in, solutions. It's more about solutions <laughs> that start to come in. So when we say your hard work is paying off, it definitely does feel like, 
like soul contract stuff. So for some of you out there, it might seem a little dramatic for just seven days, but most certainly you could be settling a soul contract of sorts. Okay. Letting go of a karmic partner, a karmic situation, which then in turn releases you, it releases the other person. They get to go on with whatever they got to learn. And maybe you, if it's a love partner, an ex that you were hung up on, new love can come in or you can have a deepening of somebody that you're already dating or you know what I'm saying like it, it like suddenly if you're always worried about your home for example and you finally say you know what I just want the best outcome for everybody involved who knows you might get like an offer you know if you're trying to sell your house you get an offer that benefits you and the other person or if you're trying to you know buy the house same kind of thing it works for you and it works for the seller as well so they're really driving home the point here that your main focus needs to be being spiritually steady and not getting wound up in I'm right, you're wrong. Even if that's true, the energy behind that is not nice, okay? <laughs> it's just not nice and it's not going to help anything. It's just going to get you more stuck. All right, so be careful with that. But hey, some really cool stuff could be happening here over the next seven days. So check it out. Leave your comments down below. Let us know how you're doing. And you can always watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, however you want to do that, and get a fuller picture. So have a good time, guys. Let us know what's going on. Take care. Hi there, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you over the next seven days. Uh-oh. Okay, I got a vision of someone like kind of panicking, um, but it looks like they're more like frustrated. They're grabbing their hair like, Ur, you know, like what am I supposed to do with this? So be aware of that. Okay, be aware of that. Where, do you, where are you getting kind of out of alignment? Something's pulling you away. Something is frustrating you. Yeah. All right. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Don't get thrown off, okay? <laughs> You're going to be all right. Meditate and contemplate. All right. New moon in Pisces. Getting stuck on a project, maybe. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Again, these are all, I'll hold all of them up here, but these are all very much about something could be occurring here in the next few days that throws you off your game. Some of you might be hearing back about a project or... You know, you were supposed to go on a trip with your loved one and whatever. Cruise line shut down, God forbid. But like, you know what I mean? Like it's something, things get delayed or or what have you. We do have, um, again, these are timeless. But as I'm posting this, uh, we're about to come into Mercury retrograde. So be aware of that. Before I hold these up, I just want to get this sort of like, I keep saying it's a channel message. It's just me being a medium. I'm just bringing it through. <laughs> Channel would be me stepping aside. So just to be clear on that, make sure you're meditating. Make sure you're meditating because something that you're going for, I think you're going to see the flaws in the plan is what I'm hearing. You're going to, you're going to see the flaws in the plan and you're going to realize it's, it's frustrating because you've put so much mental energy into making sure everything was just so, and now, ugh, you know, <laughs> now it's like, oh, I got to go back to the drawing board, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. If you have travel plans that get delayed, don't sweat it. It is a good thing. If you have a project, let's say, I don't know, it gets rejected and you're trying to get someone to help you with a project and they say, no, can't help you. You don't want to work with them anyway. Okay. The universe has really got your back here, but you're not going to like it <laughs> because again, you're working towards this goal and it feels like you are kind of pushing, 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 trying to make things, I got to sit up in my chair here a little bit. Um, you guys are pushing, 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 trying to make things happen, but you're pushing in the wrong direction. For some of you, that is going to be going after the wrong love partner too, I got to tell you. So we have hold your vision, fixed moon. Hold your vision, but don't be too fixed, okay? <laughs> that's not really what the card says, but that's what I'm feeling here. It's like, no, 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 your plans need to be revised. And that is why some of the holdup is happening. So for some of you, you're not done with the spiritual lesson. You haven't come through or you haven't gotten to the depth of what you're supposed to be understanding. 
So there, there's an idea here not to give up on what you've been going for. But yeah, this meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces card. This is saying you've got more things to consider. You haven't looked at all angles of something. You definitely have not looked at all angles of something. And if you were to keep going, it could be a disaster. Okay. It, it feels like something that, like, you know, you trust the wrong people. For example, um, you sign a contract with whoever, I don't know, maybe let's say it's a job contract or something. Let's say you are an interior designer or something and you sign a contract and you're trying to push in this one direction. Well, now everything falls through. So you see what I'm saying? Or it's not a client that you actually wanted to work with. If you have clients walking away, whatever happens over the next seven days, stay steady, stay steady here. Do not let it knock your confidence. I'm telling you, it says confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You're having some clearing going on here. So maybe you do get passed over for a promotion. Maybe, like I said, you travel plans get messed up or, you know, you don't, somebody ghosts you. Bye. Okay. There's never an excuse for ghosting. I have been darn near on my deathbed. <laughs> so sick and still manage to lift my head up and text somebody and say, I'm on my deathbed. I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> I mean, I pulled through obviously, but you know, there's no reason. No, don't, and don't listen to people who keep saying, no, 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 it could be this. No, no, there's never any reason to disrespect somebody else. End of it. But, um, you might have a little of this coming your way where someone is acting superior to you, acting superior to you, Someone doesn't believe in you. Someone's saying no, 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 no. And it really is testing you in a way. And it's sort of like, I can't, I can't keep putting energy into this to keep getting pushed back. Or I can't keep worrying about this. Every time I find a solution, they come back and say, no, it's not good enough. Or I got to do this or I got to do that. Um, but if you stay steady, there is a flow of inspiration that comes through and the solution comes. The solution comes. Uh, it might take a few weeks to play out, but whatever this is, I cannot stress this enough. Do not let it throw you off your game. You also don't want to get super pompous about this either of, oh yeah, if you're going to reject me, I'll show you. Now you're pushing off in another direction just to try to prove yourself and get validation from something. Eh, don't be working on that. Okay. It just means you're being asked to come back and finish up uh, some underlying lesson with whatever the situation is for you. All right. You'll be fine. It's going to be good. <laughs> We're going to leave it there for you guys. Take care. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for the next seven days. Let's see what you need to be aware of set free. I just heard that set free. So you are emotionally and even mentally set free. So something comes to a conclusion. I'm actually hearing done and over. And then I'm hearing safe. <laughs> like, like you made it. Uh, yeah, because you know, nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon. So there is a situation that you are finally Maybe you realize what was really going on in the situation. Some more information comes to light. You're hanging on to something that was never going to amount to anything. And um, it, it really is, you're going to realize once you come out the other side of this, this, this was a true blessing. This was a true blessing because someone may have had a hold on you. And, you know, maybe, maybe you start telling yourself a story that this is a deep soulmate connection. It could be, it could be, but we can also have karmic soulmates who are here to teach us to not go down that road. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, this could also be believing in yourself a little bit more. Um, if you're in a workspace, for example, or you're in a family situation where people don't respect you. They look down on you. They don't appreciate the love that you have to offer. Um, you can love them from a distance. You do whatever you feel is right for you, but you really are free of a situation because you realize there's, there's nothing here. There is no love. There is no respect. There's no appreciation. Now, if you're 
this isn't for people who are like super pompous and think everyone should worship them. That's not that. <laughs> it's not that. This is for those of you who have shown up in, you know, the purest bit of faith to offer love and who, you know, who you are on a soul level and someone rejects it or they don't appreciate it. You see what I'm saying? It's more that. Okay. Let's get you some more cards. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful. So here, if you want to see this in like a tarot kind of sense, I would say this is sort of like a Ten of Swords kind of card. It's done. It's over. Stick a fork in it. Okay, like <laughs> there's no more. It's beating a dead horse at this point, like me with the metaphors. Um, so anyway, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Now you're free. You are free, you are detached from a negative situation, a negative dynamic, a very toxic, even for some of you, a psychotic kind of thing where someone really was messing with you. You're free of that now and let God handle that person. You don't need to worry about that or dirty your hands up with thinking of revenge or like, you know what I mean? Like God sees everything, let it happen. So step out of your comfort zone, North Node. It's a new direction. It's a new direction. And now that you've been able to reserve all of this energy for yourself, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. For some of you, I feel like you're going to be inspired to go live in a different country. And it's weird because maybe you thought, for some of you, this is a, a divorce that gets finalized this week. Um, again, for some of you. <laughs> So you'll have to keep an eye for that. If you're happily married, never mind. It's not for you. Your hard work is paying off and this is flung out of the deck. New moon in Capricorn. Again, there is a big, who else got this? Was it just Gemini? I don't remember. Um, there's a big soul lesson that has come to a culmination and is now coming to a close. There's no more to learn from it. You are free. Yay! <laughs> You're free to move on. You're free to get on to the next thing. And yes, your hard work is paying off. Now, this is Capricorn energy. So it's not fast overnight success. It is the joy of the journey, okay? <laughs> the joy of the journey and taking it step by step. So there is a recovery process here as well. But I believe it was in the weekly where I was talking about regenerating the light. Um, and it depends on when you're seeing this. So the weekly would have been for September 20th, 2021. This is timeless. Whenever you're finding it is exactly when you're supposed to find it. But if you do want to go back and see that video, I believe it was that one. We were talking about regenerating this light within us. And now, again, anything is possible. So everything you've been held up on, if there has been, especially relationships, if you've had toxic friends, if you have had, uh, or just, you know, you, your friends have grown apart. Maybe it wasn't toxic. You're just not on the same page anymore. And you're just saying it's time to let go. And on a soul level, you will get recharged in a way that I don't think you even knew was possible. <laughs> okay. And what you do with that, be responsible, be responsible, make sure you're setting good intentions. Um, you know, don't go stumbling ahead. Remember, it's Capricorn energy. Steady, steady success, okay? Not an overnight thing that burns out right away. You feel me? Um, and for some of you, with this burden off of you, this energetic burden, this soul lesson that's done, uh, again, for some of you out there, you have so much capacity to create. And that means crafting the life that you want. You have that capability now, okay? So we're gonna leave it there for you. Take care. Hi there, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you over the next seven days whenever you're finding this video. Okay, so I, I do see some of you are quite defeated and it feels painful. Like, it, I'm not saying, hey, it's gonna be a bad next seven days. <laughs> it's not that, it's just, um, Something gets wiped out, but I feel like it, it's necessary. It's a necessary thing for you to understand. So a, a few signs have been getting this kind of message of like, if something goes away, don't sweat it. Okay, it's, it's, it's done. Let's see, let's get more information here for you. 
Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So you've been getting in your own way in some way. Uh, for some of you, this isn't a bad thing that's winding down. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the example of like, again, this won't apply to everybody, but like an actor who just got done filming, whatever, whatever. And you're kind of sad because you're, you're going to miss your cast members and or maybe you're in theater and the show just wrapped and you're going to miss everybody. But you know what? Prosperity lies ahead. There's going to be another project. There will be another group of people that you connect with, that sort of thing. Or for some of you out there, maybe you were having money troubles. Some of you out there, you were having financial difficulties or you're having a hard time finding a job. And maybe that's what I'm seeing there. It's like I just feel so beat down and so defeated and then something opens up, okay? So I think what you need to let go of is this idea that whatever I'm feeling now, if it's bad, it's permanent. It's not permanent, okay? There are beautiful things that are gonna be opening up. It really is believing in yourself. It really is. So, and, and believing in yourself in like a real way, not in a way where you try to like, I don't know. It's not fake it till you make it. It's not that. Mm -mm. It's understanding what prosperity means to you, what the priorities are. Okay. One more shuffle, I think, shall do it. Oh, this wants to come out. <laughs> A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Again, look at this, prosperity, love. So if you have, whatever is going on here, it's like something, you had to learn a hard lesson. Let's put it that way. And whatever that was. And now you're having to get balanced again. But whatever this worry was, it could be affecting your love life as well. So maybe you lost your confidence if you had a breakup. Or let's say you were so worried about money and career or whatever, how you're going to um, be stable that you weren't dating at all or maybe if you're in a relationship you were kind of you know not focusing on the love portion and just kind of like honey I'll catch you later like I gotta go figure this out so things will be turning around it's just it's a hurry up and wait kind of situation so there could be a thing where um, I'm hearing some of you are in despair if you are in a very very dark place please make sure that you reach out to local resources and make sure you're okay okay get the support that you need Absolutely. People care. People absolutely care about you. If it's not that dire for you, uh, for some of you out there, this is just like, I just feel lost and I don't know what direction to go in. And I just know that what used to work for me in love doesn't work for me anymore. Um, and specifically, I mean, it could be if you're in a partnership and I'm feeling like single people where you're like, I know what I want. Why can't I find it? Um, Maybe for you, it's like, I just want an equal partner. I don't want someone to treat me like I'm beneath them or make me feel like I have to have all the answers. I just want someone who's my real partner. Why is that so hard to find? You know, you, some of you are going through that. And so you're balancing your life out, really. And they're showing me that it, it starts with a lot of self-care and not beating yourself up. Whatever this thing was, I don't know. Again, it could have been a breakup or it could have been leaving a job and you're not sure where to go. You got laid off and you don't know what's going to happen. Whatever came along to shake you up, it's okay. It's opening a different path. But you got to let go. We're all getting these messages of let the old way go. Because I think we're going through like this process here where you got to weed out the garden, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what's going on here. Oof. I'm telling you, expect powerful change, uh, new moon eclipse. Something ended. Something went bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> so this could be an old way of thinking too, guys. An old attitude, um, an old approach. Like, um, shoot, I had, I was trying a certain, well, I guess I shouldn't call out the diet, but I was trying a certain style of eating and then had something very scary happen when I went to the eye doctor. They found a speck of blood inside my eye, like in the, I mean, like on the scan or whatever. And I immediately thought, oh no, that I thought that eating style was not the best for me. Oh no, because a lot of meat, a lot of fat, like, so anyway, and it caused this whole thing where I had a sudden powerful change. I was like, stop that, 
stop it right now and start eating differently and try a different different way uh, of getting different nutritional things in my body, right? Like <laughs> a different way of eating. So that that could be something like that where you get a sudden health realization and you're like, okay, enough. Oops, sorry. Um, you know, for some of you, it might be like, it's time to honor where my body is. Uh, maybe I can't run marathons anymore because I've been running marathons for two decades and my joints have had it. You know, it doesn't mean that you're failing. It just means that it's time to embrace where you are and let new experiences come in. That is the big thing for you guys. Okay. That really is what's going on here, but it's change around money and love. And I was feeling health with this as well. So I don't think you're in for a bad time. I don't think at all, unless you resist it, unless you stay stuck in an old mindset and you don't allow new flow to come in. Well, I'll catch you for the next seven days. <laughs> so there's that guys. We're going to leave it there for you. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you for the next seven days. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was me just dropping the cards. Never mind. I was just going to pick those up. Put that back in there. <laughs> there's been a lot of... Oh, More cards fell out. So I was going to say there's a lot of messaging for a lot of the signs. Make sure you're watching your sun, moon, rising, and even Venus sign if you care to. Um, about letting go. It, so there's a huge shift that, that's going on. I got to get that. Hold on. Okay. That was a lot. I had to... It flung underneath the table. I had to go chasing after it. Okay. So two cards came flinging out. The first one is have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon and this one is look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius so I think your dreams are changing a little bit here and what that is is that you are I don't know kind of maturing as a soul I guess I don't I don't know how to put it where you came into this world you kind of forgot yourself but now you're remembering that soul contract a little bit more and so you're like well that thing I was going after is it really worth it why do I really want it? Do I want it for validation? Do I want it to have power? Do I, whatever, okay? I want the adventure. I want to experience things as a human being. But where do my dreams need to change a little bit? I always tell people, like, when I was in high school, I loved Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I love Phantom of the Opera. And I wanted to go study singing. I wanted to be on Broadway. And one day, who knows? I mean, that's not a goal of mine right now, but if it should occur, I wouldn't say no. I'd go on Broadway. But, you know, my dreams had to get tweaked a little bit because I came in and I was like, no, I'm a humanitarian. I'm a messenger. That is what I'm supposed to be doing. So it still involves my voice, but just not that form, at least right now, right? So it has that kind of feel around it. Like you're wanting the adventure. That's this. Look at the bigger picture here. Like... You're getting hung up on a very tiny detail over something and it's getting you stuck and it's making you want to give up, okay? But if you step back, you just need a little workaround. You don't need to give up. All right, so let's get you another card here. I'm really feeling like people are unplugging from an old way of doing things, like across the board. So it's time to take action. New moon in Aries, it's time for a new direction. It's time to really evaluate why you want the things that you do. Why were you working towards it? If you do that deep kind of work, you're going to unleash and, and you're going to be able to hit that adventure, <laughs> right? Or this could also be, like, let's say you want to start your own business, just as an example, or whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, and you realize, uh, I, you know, was so hung up on how to get that website started that I wasn't looking at the bigger picture of the overall business and what I'm offering and, you know, what problem am I solving with my business? And this is where you start clearing some of that stuff away, some of the stuck energy now you know how to flow. Now you're getting solutions. Now you know how you want to move forward. It's time to take action. I don't know why this keeps coming up for everybody, but it really is this energy of we have to be clearing. We have to clear away this old 
way of being. The world is changing. The, the world is changing. And when people want to go backwards, I don't know how to explain that. It's like trying to erase the paint off the canvas. <laughs> like, you can't do that. You know, we've, we've already come this far. Don't turn back now, right? So it is very much uh, how you fit into your environment. You know, you're kind of getting some understanding around that. And um, what kind of energy you contribute. See, I'm getting the feeling here that like maybe you've <laughs> made your family suffer. You're driving them nuts like with all your questions or with whatever. Or um, for some of you, it's school or just trying to learn something new and you get hung up on this one little thing. It's like, no, 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 there are other things. You don't even need that. The thing that you guys are getting hung up on, you don't even need it. That's what they're trying to get you to understand. Have faith in your dreams, but there's a bigger picture here and you're going to get the details as you need them. All right, so don't stress about it. So we're gonna leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Libra. Let's see what is going on for you for the next seven days. Okay. We have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Now... Let me get more of the story before I start commenting on that. A per yeah, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. So there has been some emotional upheaval for you. What do you need to release, Wayne Moon? The emotional upheaval says bring love into the situation, okay? And actually it goes with this. Personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever emotional thing came up, it was there to have you change your ways, have you change your ways. So do you allow people to tell you how things are gonna go? Um, or are you one of those people who you just rebel just to rebel? You're just uncooperative. You don't want to be a part of the solution. You wanna be part of the problem because it makes you feel powerful or some, I can't see any of you being that person, but maybe you know somebody who's doing that, right? <laughs> and this is really kind of stepping back and saying, no, 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 we're not getting anywhere with this approach. If I keep pushing and pushing and pushing on whatever this issue is, okay, then we have what do you need to release right here, waning moon. If I keep pushing on the situation in this way, it's just a power play and nobody ends up winning and we're just draining energy. So maybe you need to release what got you here in the first place. You need to release what got you here in the first place. What does that mean? Your perspective. All right. So I feel like some of you out there, you could have overstepped your bounds, the boundaries. Um, did you give unsolicited advice? Did you take a situation where you were like, hey, don't you realize that affects me? And the other person's like, but it affects me too. And you're like, but it also affects me, but it affects me too. <laughs> now, now, nobody's compromising. Nobody's doing anything of the sort. Um, maybe there was an argument or whatever. But there, there's something here. It doesn't have to be, please, as I say these messages, it doesn't have to be like the exact surface level situation. This could be an internal struggle as well. Yes. Where maybe you really, I, I mean, I'm hearing that there was an injustice of some sort in your life. And what it made you realize is how you handle such things and what your perspective is and how maybe it's not the healthiest, okay? It's gonna be different for everybody. But, uh, oh my God, the ground just shook. I'm telling you, the, the chances of earthquakes are major. It could just be that the building's not built very well and someone slammed their door, but it's like, well, if it was the ground shake, whatever, um, we're back. Okay, so so what you're doing, um, maybe there was, yeah, because I'm hearing forcefulness too. There was too much forcefulness in something. So this could be, remember, this could be an outward situation with a person or this could be a goal or, you know, we're humans. We're always working towards something, right? And maybe you're being too hard on yourself. You're being too hard on yourself or, you know, you're not, yeah, because I'm hearing like you're not giving yourself a, enough credit 
for what you've already accomplished, for what you've already come through. And I think for a lot of you, what you need to release is pressure and the need, I, I kind of want to put it this way, the need to have things your way. Now this could be you in a situation or you with people. It might also be you with the universe. Where you're like, no, I'm very single-minded about this. And it has to be this. I'm not doing anything, universe. <laughs> and the universe is saying, okay, can you release that and, and, and stop trying so hard? Can you stop putting negative energy around this? This would be that kind of thing. If, and I've, I'm guilty of this too. If you're going around, let's say you're trying to lose weight and you're always going around making fun of yourself for being overweight, well, you're probably not going to lose weight no matter what you're trying because the energy is not there. Not only that, but even psychologically, that's got to have some effect. I'm not a psychologist, but that can't be good. If you're negative self-talk and I mean, you know, how are you going to have the motivation and believing in yourself and um, knowing that you deserve that level of care, right? Uh, so it's that sort of thing. So whatever's going on here, I, I noticed her dumping, dumping out this vessel. It's like, oh, I, I gotta, I've gotten too wound up in stressing over a situation or trying to control it or whatever the, the case may be. And you're just kind of decompressing from that. From this space, once you start releasing, then you can start manifesting and leaving a little room for the universe to help you out. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for the next seven days. I'm seeing Moonstone. I don't, don't know. Maybe you want to carry some Moonstone with you. Make sure it's... Uh, cleanse, cleared, and charged. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. I, wow. Okay, so let me, let me do this over again. Because I'm dropping things, throwing things accidentally. Okay. <laughs> Get your cards. Nothing is yet set in stone, beautiful moon. So there is that card. I'm going to get a couple of other cards. Let's get a bigger picture here. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So balancing. Balance spirituality and practicality. New moon in Pisces. Wow. I think this is the first time I've pulled cards and I'm like, huh? All is not lost. That's what I feel around this card. It says nothing is yet set in stone. So you don't know the way forward. You don't know the way forward. So whatever it is that you're looking into this for, um, mm, for some of you, for some of you, there are no guarantees in love. And some of you are with somebody who's just there to teach you a lesson. But some of you. For others of you, it has to do with whatever scenario you have going on in your life where you're like, ugh. I've already been down this road. I know it's going to be like this. That's not true. Okay. There can be a turn of events here and it does feel like you're on stormy, uh, stormy seas, but that is because you're overthinking. So if you've been ruminating, if you have been, um, hung up on someone, something that wasn't fair or, you know what I mean? Like you feel like you really want to go back and just get your justice or whatever. If you just kind of let that go, really open yourselves up to infinite possibilities tapping into that kind of energy and letting your heart expand in that way you'll see that there are opportunities coming forward and also there's a feeling here don't let other people tell you what you should enjoy yeah i i don't because there are things that um i don't know like maybe someone really loves to travel and maybe you're kind of a homebody and they're saying, you should go off and do X, Y, and Z. And you're like, but I don't want to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that. You like that. Or we should go to the movies. I personally hate going to the movies. I feel like movies are best seen curled up in a blanket. And, you know, when, they're, when it's like chilly out. Like if it's nice out, I don't watch movies. I'm outside. But if it's like a chilly winter, 
day and I'm curled up next to the fire in a blanket, yeah, watch a movie, right? It's cozy. It's not supposed to be in a theater, I think. <laughs> Never mind. I'm I'm probably alone in that. But um, it is that kind of thing where you're not allowing other people to tell you how to enjoy your time. Okay. So a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra, you're going to get the support coming through that you've been wanting. Maybe that's nicer friends. Because a lot of people are evolving and waking up and realizing, okay, I'm not into this shallow stuff. Maybe it's a different love partner. Okay. A lot of you are, um, I hear, meeting your match. You're meeting your match. So this could be if you're in an existing romantic partnership, let's say, this could be an evening of that relationship, which could be very positive. Everyone's going to be different. But I also feel like if you're single, maybe you've been single for a long time because you're healing a wound or something along those lines. But if you are in fact ready, this is something that's like very mutually uh, beneficial it's equal. It's, it's beautiful. There's a beautiful free flow. Now it's not for everybody, obviously, but whatever it is that you are dealing with right now, the bottom line is that the outcome is not set in stone. Okay. And there might be some more information coming in, or there might be some other factors to take in. You don't have all the information, but when you get it, you can resolve it. And it's coming this week. Expect a phone call. Balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Listen, here's the thing. <laughs> it feels like something is done over. You've already made up your mind about something. And then all of a sudden you get more information. You're like, this again? Okay. And you'll be, because you're all spiritual people, right? And you will be very tempted to find what the spiritual meaning is behind it. But this can get you into trouble. A lot of times when we try to clear away karmic partners, you do a beautiful clearing and what do they do? They pop back into your head or they pop up on the phone or they send a text or an email or something. Tracking you on social media. Ugh, um, <laughs> that's never a good sign. But, you know, instead of trying to figure out like, what is, it, what is our soul path together? Just really just tune into your heart and there will be a balance between the physical and the spiritual and the answer will be there, okay? I don't know what it is for everybody. It's going to be different, but it does say there's going to be a win-win outcome. So it's it does feel a little, shall I say jarring? Where it's kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> this Could this be someone like, coming and saying like I love you it, it has that kind of it may not be that exact scenario but it has that sort of what kind of <laughs> moment and remember I said don't let anybody tell you how to feel like the, that stormy sea this could you know really shake up your emotions again um but they don't have to have power over you so if you hear from an ex or any blast from the past Ask yourself, why did we lose touch in the first place? Now, spiritually speaking, people will say, we can't hang on to the negativity. Yeah, you can. <laughs> well, not literally. Don't hang on to the negativity and like hold your life up. But don't forget, you know, if someone was, for example, a game player or they weren't reliable or they let you down constantly, they just didn't value your time. They didn't value you. They didn't respect you. And you stepped away. You freed yourself from that situation. And now they're coming back. Be careful okay just tread lightly with whatever this situation is okay so we're gonna leave it there for you guys i'm sending you all so much love and take care hi there sagittarius let's see what's going on for you for the next seven days why do i see people like uh, <laughs> i i got <laughs> i got a picture of somebody like floating on an inner tube like going around a lazy river and they got a hat and sunglasses and like a mai tai i don't where are you? Why wasn't I invited? I like lazy rivers. <laughs> I like my ties. All right. So let's see if we can get more information on what that is representing. You're unplugging. And you said, nope, I'm done. Maybe not permanently done, but I need a minute. All right. And also be careful around water for some, some people... Oh my gosh, this just came up for Scorpio too. I was just saying, be careful around water 
And look at that, nothing is yet set in stone. It is mutable moon and there's a stormy, stormy sea. So if you guys are on the East Coast here in the United States or up in Canada, be very, very careful. We're in hurricane season, obviously, or on the Gulf as well. What it feels like is you're trying to go, like you're, you're kind of like, la, 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 everybody shut up. <laughs> I need a minute, everybody leave me alone. But they said, no, <laughs> you decided to get on this ship and now you're gonna go for the ride. So someone's pulling you into drama. Try not to judge, okay? Because somebody might be looking at you and going, really? There is so much going on. You're just gonna let me take care of this all on my own? It could be that, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, and I do see a man floating in the lazy river. So <laughs> if your like love partner is, you know, like having to pull all the weight and you're like, I'm just exhausted. And like, I would like to take a break too, but I can't. Okay. Get up. Right. <laughs> so anyway, work through your fears. Yeah. This is a beautiful card. New moon in Scorpio. Uh, guys, this is emotional upheaval that you're trying to avoid. I think that's why I'm seeing the lazy river thing. So this is asking you to transform. So whatever comes up and you don't want to deal with it and you're trying to avoid it, look at why. What's your deal? Okay. Why are you being like this? Why are you afraid? Now, for some of you, this can be like a very deeply emotional time where you're realizing I have a fear of not being loved or I have a fear of being rejected or I have a fear of um, not you know, I have a fear of failure, you know, whatever the deal is, you have some major fear going on there and you end up kind of, I'm hearing pushing people away. There's a lot of avoiding going on here. And I know you might want to take a break, but some of this, it, it doesn't help anybody to avoid. Okay. Some things need to be addressed. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node, have North Node. I can do this, I swear. <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone. So for some of you, it is having to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, um, but do so lovingly. Don't do this defensive thing, or certainly do not do this thing of, why are you always trying to ruin my peace and blah, you know, just leave me alone, let me do whatever I want. Uh, this, this is saying, no, 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 no. If you're afraid to tell somebody how you feel, look at why you're afraid. If you're afraid to go after your dreams, ask yourself why you're afraid. And I'm sure you'll have plenty of good things, good reasons to be afraid. But when you put it down, let's say you're gonna journal about it, now you can find a workaround, you feel me? Now you can figure out a way through it and instead of just holding yourself up or just being literally on the lazy river and just pretending, like tuning everything out and be like, it's not happening, la-di-da. But it is definitely the, the message for you over the next few days is to make sure you're not taking, don't take your emotions out on other people, but also there's a message here of not leaving someone high and dry. Huh, we were talking about water high and dry, get it? Okay. But, <laughs> but what I'm getting at here is like, you're, you're leaving the baggage for someone else in, in some way or another for some of you. It is this thing of maybe you're literally going on. I'm just totally making this up as an example, but there's a feeling here where you leave the workload for someone else. So you either get up and walk off the job and you're just thinking about how mad you are, right? And you're walking off the job, but you got all these really great coworkers who are like now going to suffer because you got upset and walked off the job. Or maybe you go off to vacation and someone's nice enough to cover for you, but you didn't, you didn't help them cover for you. You feel me? So I, I feel like some of you need, you do need a moment to kind of reset yourselves, but make sure other people aren't getting left in the wake of your frustrations, I think is what it's coming down to. Okay. Keep that energy open. Keep it pure. Keep it flowing. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, Capricorn. Let's see what is going on for you for the next few days here. Next seven days, actually. Let's see what you have. Okay. There's a, there's a lot with a lot of the signs about letting go. But for you specifically, I'm feeling like there's this tumultuous um, emotions. It's, it's going to be an emotional time for a lot of people.
Okay. And I have like an eyelash or something on my face. <laughs> All right. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Yeah, this is the thing. I was just saying it's a very emotional time. And like your energy is very different than like the, the Sagittarius reading that I was doing. I believe it was Sagittarius where they were just kind of avoiding. You're not avoiding. Like you're in here, but it feels like you're not being heard. And you might go, okay, I'm going to walk away for a second, but then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue this. You're working something out. It might get a little messy, but it's okay. Don't fight. Do not fight. Okay. Um, or some of you, it's more of a caution that you're getting fired up about something that's going on out in the world, which is understandable. I'm a feisty person myself, but um, this is not going to help anything. Make sure you are not giving into division tactics. So this next card is Surrender to the Divine Full Moon. It is very much, it is kind of turning to God, so it's creator and saying, I don't know what you want from me. I thought I was going in the right direction. What is this? Why am I not happy? You're asking some very tough questions of yourself during this time, and that's fine. That's fine because actually you're going to come on out the other side and you definitely will be getting a lot of your answers coming through in the next few days. Now, let's talk about what that could look like. You might be sitting there going, why am I hung up on this person? Why can't I find love? Why is my relationship not working? Why is my job not paying me enough? Why, you know, all those surface level questions. And this could be the time where you suddenly have an epiphany about an incident that happened when you were a kid. And you've always known it was there, but you have a different feeling about it now. Now it's cracking something open in you. And you realize, whoa, I grew up constantly having to question myself. Or I grew up having everybody telling me who I was. I, you know, I'm always talking about the scapegoat. I grew up as a scapegoat. You know, you might have something like that. And you may not know what to do with it. Of course, if traumatic things open up, please make sure that you get with a proper therapist who can help you, okay? This is not a replacement for therapy. Um, but this is like a really hard kind of internal realization. It is though satisfying because it's like connecting the dots. And it could make you a little sad that you have to let Maybe again, for some of you, it might be like you thought an ex was going to come back or maybe a love that never got off the ground. You thought they'd be coming back and you realize, no, it was never meant to be. That was toxic. Or you're hoping to get some dream off the ground and you realize it's not really what I want. I wanted it because I thought I had to prove myself to someone or, you know, it could go on and on, but there's a deep realization that clicks and you realize what needs to be let go of, okay? Yeah, so it gets a little deep. It gets a little deep for you. Yeah, a new start is coming, but this is it. Look at that, guys, look. So even though this might be a tough week of having some hard truths coming up, unfortunately, for some people who come across this video, it is that conversation you have with your spouse or something, like this isn't working anymore. Try to do everything as lovingly as you can, but that's not everybody. Again, if you're happily married, this, this is not something that would come as a shock. I, I don't think, I think it's like, cause I get the sense of like two people sitting with one another. If this is your message and just kind of looking at each other, like, yeah, yeah. Time to move on for both of us, for both our sakes. Right. And that is where you're having to surrender to the divine as well. So there is a sense here that for some of you, not everybody, but for some of you, you are giving up on something to make room for something new. Now, if you are one of those people, you just cut and run all the time and you think the grass is always greener, this, th that's not what we're talking about here. Okay. That's not it. This is something reaches a culmination. It's fiery. You try to work through it. It's not working. You surrender to the divine. You get your solution and then you clear something away so that this new start 
can come on in. Again, it's a, it's a big energy. If you're watching for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever you want to watch for, you're going to see th there's, there's a pattern here. <laughs> so whenever you come across this video, make sure you're really harnessing what's coming through because this could help. This could help in a big way. Yeah. Getting deep, getting really deep and really discovering what, what needs to be uh, transformed. And I really do feel like it is how you approach things. Okay. Or how much of a chance you give yourself or I, I'm, I'm getting also the sense of somebody who's been bullied. Um, if you were bullied as a kid, or maybe you've had some deeply ingrained patterns about how you approach relationships, you know, those are the kinds of things that are coming up again, get therapy. If that feels like that is something that would help you. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what is going on for you for the next seven days. What do you need to release waning moon? As I was shuffling and this was about to pop out <laughs> right before this popped out, um, I definitely got the sense of some of you are in deeply, um, deeply karmic. And when I say karmic, karmic doesn't have to always mean bad, but for some of you, I think you're in some deep, deep, deep soul lessons and you need to make sure that whatever your dynamic is, keep yourself safe, keep your kids safe. Get the proper support, wherever the resources are around you. Don't be afraid to reach out. Okay, reach out to local resources and get whatever help you may need. But some of you are really coming to a space where you know what your situation is. You know it's very karmic. You know it's supposed to be teaching you something, but maybe you don't know how to move on. Um, yeah. I'm getting the sense here that once you realize the, the soul lesson around it and you're willing, because I keep hearing make amends. That doesn't mean on the surface. That means make, make amends within you. Get right with God, source, creator, however you see that. Um, make peace with the universe kind of thing. Because the reason why you attract in the things that you do, for some of you, um, is because you think you deserve it and that you don't deserve something better it's really time for you to understand your own truth so that you can be released from any sort of negative thinking. Again, this is not spiritually sidestepping. This is not pretending like stuff isn't happening. But if you have a lot of negative self-talk or especially if you're taking that negativity out on other people, <laughs> come on cards. <laughs> I dropped the deck. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. Everything's fine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, again, there's this deep internal kind of, I, I understand it, but I can't make it conscious. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't bring it up into my brain kind of feeling. So just be patient, be patient, but you do know you need to release some of these negative dynamics that you have. Everybody's getting this, a fiery uh, climax approaches full moon in Aries. Now for you guys, I feel like this is that internal shift. This is that deeper understanding, this deeper awareness that says, okay, I used to think that I deserve this. Now I understand how I got into this. Now I understand why I'm here. Now, I don't know that you guys necessarily get the solution right away. Yeah, don't let the past hold you back, South Node. Your old patterns, that's what you're understanding and what's breaking open for you here. So do so safely. Again, protect yourself. I'm telling you, like there is a need to break away because it even says, what do you need to release? It's you need to release your past and your past patterns. But if you don't go through this sort of, if you want to see it as an alchemical process to allow yourself to come on through, you're going to keep cycling in those lessons. This week has kind of a weird energy. So it's sort of like, I feel stuck. I know I need to change something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. And then there's a realization. Just don't push that realization away. You're going to come on through. It's just that uh, you're not going to be able to unless you get very aware of, of how you hold yourself back. This is really realizing where you self-sabotage, right? Accepting less than what you deserve, um, thinking you're stuck, 
feeling like you're powerless perhaps. So look at areas of your life where things are just, now some of you might be watching this going, what are you talking about? I'm not stuck in any situation. There is always room for growth. And so look around your life. Where are things a little, where are things a little bit stagnant? Okay. That is also where you're supposed to be doing some evolving. Yes. And, and, and coming out of that, um, that's stuck energy. Some of you are having to get out and try something new and it's very nerve wracking. Um, I get that, but, um, it's time for you to really, it, it's like coming out of a prison. So is that a mindset? Do you feel trapped in a body that is sick? And so you're wanting to amp up your health, um, a job a relationship, you know, whatever the deal is you're not going to be able to get onto a healthy way until you go through this sort of process here. All right. Uh, again, even if you're sitting there, you think I've got nothing wrong in my life. All the energy is flowing. It's good. If that were true, you wouldn't be watching a reading, <laughs> right? We all have something that we can learn from one another. So this really is moving on from your past. And this is you having to turn a corner and figure out who you are now. So be patient with yourself as you go through this. Okay. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hi there, Pisces. Let's see what is going on for you for the next seven days. I keep getting sloppy with cards. Here we go. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. I really do feel like people are getting so wound up about things that um, you're kind of forced to get centered. If you've ever been through something, most people have, something really major in your life, like talking like dark night of the soul kind of moment. Uh, for a lot of people, it does push them to like, I, I gotta, I gotta tap into something outside of what I see, right? This is where people do start to trigger onto their spiritual path, but you know, they come in, they want spirituality to just solve everything. They don't want to look at it because it's exhausting and it's painful. And, um, you know, this, this really does feel like whatever you've been trying to transform through. And this has been a big message for a lot of people. Um, whatever you're trying to come through, you realize the answers are not going to come by forcing them. So, and it does have this feeling of overwhelm. Like I'm getting so ticked off about things that are going on in the world. I just need to stop and breathe and not just go to social media and start blabbing all over the place and causing more, <laughs> more, uh, arguments and things. Yeah. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Okay. Um, yeah, so take, I, this is like a chill out kind of week because you're going to drive yourselves crazy. You may have also overscheduled yourself. Maybe you're taking on extra hours at work or now you've taken on projects that you are regretting because you realize I don't have time for this, you know, what have you. But make this a very, very spiritually focused kind of week because not only do you need it, right, to kind of help you, um, you just, I keep hearing you just need a break just need a break so that you don't break. It's that. But by doing this, you're going to be getting some of those answers coming through. Okay. So meditate with your team and see what guidance is there. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. That's interesting because um, the way that I'm feeling this is like, I'm not going to take it from the narrative that's being pumped out there. And in order for me to be at full capacity, I have to recharge my battery. So before you can get, you'll get to a place within the next seven days where you can show up again, <laughs> right? And contribute. But um, this, this actually has kind of like an opposite meaning to me. It's like, I need to take some time for myself so that I can give. And that's just within the context of these other two cards here which is all about meditating and taking a break. But I'm telling you, so many people are going through a spiritual transformation right now. We always do that. There's always like a flop over. We could have been nicer about it instead of turnover or turning the corner, but it, flop over is funny. So let's keep it. Okay. <laughs> so like we're like flopping like a fish. Like, here we go. Here's the next stage. And you are coming up on that. You're coming into the next stage of this and you're going to, or what you could do here, 
right? There's this spiritual transformation that's happening for you, some messaging, some deeper understanding that's going to come on through, and that helps you light up enough that you can show up in a surface, uh, not surface, in a service kind of way, right? So this is where maybe you are giving some guidance to somebody who's just getting started on their spiritual path, or maybe you can return to your job and be recharged and ready to go. Um, or yeah, guidance. It keeps saying guidance. <sighs> okay, so I, I really feel like a lot of you are just getting pulled in a lot of different directions. And so by kind of stopping and taking time for yourself, now you'll be able to give clear advice that's for some of you out there because like you're like someone presented a problem to you okay this is just for some of you and you're like okay i got my own problems and then you're like okay give me a minute take a little time and you're like wait a minute why don't you just do this and they're like brilliant right so for some of you maybe your whole job is having to problem solve and you just couldn't get there this does have the feeling of like writer's block as well where you get stuck on a project or stuck in writing a book or something everything is going to be okay remember that this is just for the next seven days you do need to take a break because you are going to be called to duty in some way later on or someone's going to come and need your advice or your help or you know there's something you're trying to get accomplished here these could all be the case for you or there's something like that but nothing is going to get done because these two cards came up first Okay, and they're all about meditating and taking it easy. So if you have the luxury of taking some vacation, do it um, if it feels right for you. But if you don't, again, make meditation a huge priority because if you don't, I feel like a lot of you don't kind of bring things into the physical, right? You're kind of scattered and just scattered, but not like, oh, everything is so interesting, but scattered like if one more person asks me to do one more thing, or there's a bug in my face. Excuse me, little bug. How'd you get in here? <laughs> um, or again, it, it's like that kind of where people are unloading on you too. <laughs> like bake sale, PTA. Well, I don't know. I'm not a parent, so I don't really know how that goes. But at the last second, somebody's like, hey, we need you to make 50 brownies and make them pretty. How do you make brownies pretty? I don't know. But you know, it's that kind of thing. And you're having to kind of step back and go, okay. I need to come together with me, right? Before I can show up for anybody else. I don't need to drive that point home any more than that. I think we're just talking around some examples so that you feel connected to this, this message here, but please take it seriously. Please take it seriously. Do not try to do any sort of big thing this week without first getting recharged because you will end up just kind of going, I give up. Everybody leave me alone and kind of walking away. You don't want that. Okay, you don't want that because there will be people around you who don't deserve that and who will feel let down <laughs> by you. But this is what you need. You need the rest. So give yourself a break. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.